Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to talk about a couple of topics which in my opinion are very underrated. One of them are indices which is provided by system.index namespace. The second one is range which is provided by system.range. Well, initially my plan was to cover implementing Saga pattern for a distributed transaction in microservices using mass transit. But due to some unforeseen circumstances, I could not spend enough time exploring and implementing that. Hence, I fall back into indexes and range. I wanted to discuss about these two for quite some time, but could not get into it. Hence, this video, I am going to discuss these two. So first, let's start with index and then we'll discuss about range. And both of them work very closely with each other. So first, let's discuss what is indices. The system.index namespace provide features to access index of a sequence. And this particular feature is represented by the new caret operator. For an array, the caret of zero is equal to the length of the array, which means if we want to access the length minus one index item, which is essentially the last index of an array, we will have to use caret of one. So that's how it works. And essentially, if we want to access the nth index from the end of an array, we will use caret of n. So if we want to access length minus two, it will be caret of two length minus three, caret of three, and so on and so forth. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to create a new ASP.NET Core console application. And then I'm going to create an array and show this how it works. So I'm going to create a new console application and I'm going to name it as index demo. as I'm going to demo both. Once the project is created, I'm going to get rid of this console.write line. It is need, not needed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new array and I'm going to say var array equal to new and let's consider it's an array of integers and let's say it has odd numbers. This is good enough. Now here, if we have to access the last item in this array, the traditional way of accessing is array of array dot length minus one. So that's how we usually access. Now if I do console dot write line last item, we can use this code. And now if I run this application, I should see 15 sprinting out as last item. And we can see that. Now to simplify this significantly, what we can do is we should just do caret one. And this should yield the same response as before. So let's run and see. And we can see we get 15. Now if we want to access the third element from the end, which is 11, all we have to do is put three here and run it. And we can see 11 as output. As you can see, this is a very neat feature. It gives you an option not to deal with array dot length and figuring out with uh, negating the number. It is a very good shorthand for the length minus n in my opinion. Now next I'm going to talk about range. So what is range? The system.range is used to extract part of an array. So if we have an array of n number of elements and we want to extract a part of it, we can use the system.range namespace. And it is represented by the new operator double dot. So dot dot, that is what is used. In functional languages like Scala and F -sharp, this is already supported out of box. This is something which is newly introduced in the C sharp language as a part of C sharp 8. A range specifies the start index and the end index of an array. So whatever array we want to copy from, we are going to specify the start index and end index. And that is how the new array will be extracted out. The start index is inclusive, meaning if we say zero to five, it will extract the zeroth element plus move forward. Whereas the end index is not, means it is exclusive. 
so it will go till end index minus one so again to demonstrate that i'm going to go back to the console application and here now we can use some range functionality so for that let's declare a new array and what we can do is we can now use the range operator so it's very simple and straightforward so we can say array and here we are going to provide the index where we want to start from so let's start from index 3 which is 5 so we'll say index 3 and dot dot let's go to index 13 so it is 4 5 6 7 so if we give till 7 it is going to take up till 13 because 7 is the index of 15 and 7 minus 1 is 13 now if I do a for each on the new array and I just do a console dot write on the item Now since we gave the starting point as 3 which is 0, 1, 2, 3 it is going to start from 7 and the end index as 7 which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 7 minus 1 is 13 so we are going to see from 7 to 13 as the items of the new array. So now let me run this application and if I run it we can see it starts from 7 and goes till 13. Now if you want to select all the items of the array starting from an index so let's say we want to start from index 3 but we want to go all the way to the end all we have to do is we can just get rid of this and we run now we are going to see from 7 to 15 and that's what we see. Similarly if we want to start from 0th index and we want to go till let's say fifth one which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 which is still 9 we can just give dot dot 5 and now it's going to print from 1 to 9 so in my opinion this is a really handy feature the fact that we don't have to loop through and figure out from where to where we want to copy this makes it really really useful and helpful feature and here also we can use the index operator in conjunction so we can say so 5 from here till 5 so if we do that and if we run so it's going to print only 7 and 9 as expected because 7 is the 5 from the end and 9 is the 5 from the beginning which is the fifth item. So as you can see both of these features are really powerful but I have not seen them being used so much but I think it is not as popular as it should be. It's very useful when we are dealing with copying array from one to another. So that's all I wanted to cover today. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed to my channel but you think you are going to get value out of my channel please subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for watching this video.